Well, I'm having some audio issues, so you get me in the avatar state because apparently it's the only thing that's working. My actual mic has uh done something more again. Again, I'm robotic on it, so I got to source that out. I think I got some sort of driver issue with that. Anyway, anyway, today, you know, I was going to talk about in the real life uh a little bit more about how I've fallen into the fandom and how it's become such a big deal in everything in my life. Wearing furry merch i'm i'm doing a lot more i'm making avatars absolutely having a time of my life and learning a lot of new things i needed to talk about something and what i need to talk about is furries in itself becomes a more furry bait type of thing are companies putting furries into their media to 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 attract them no it's not something like that it's not the way things are but if there's a creature out there if there's something that's been made a cartoon a any sort of dealing. There's people out there that have a very sexual mind and that's where things go. They, you know, rule 34 comes up where people will suddenly get a more sexualized character. That's not what I like about it. I don't like any of that. I, I'm not for any of that, but I don't have any qualms against people that do do things like that and want to explore more things like that if that's the way you want to express and do things in life then that's the way things are but that's not what's drawn me here what's drawn me here is that the fact that people are so friendly they're very very good to get along with and there's a lot more behind it um i'm a gamer i'm a true gamer i've been gaming since i was four years old i i, I grew up on a vic 20 i grew up with the old school donkey kong miniature arcade thing i used to go to the arcade by myself I'd shoot pool by myself. I'd do a lot of things like that. I never, but I, I never really had friends to do that with. That's the difference here. That is the difference for me is that I found so many more friends that have that mindset that are different, that want to just sit there and play games and have fun and, and just talk about things. You know, I think back to like the Big Bang Theory where they all talk about comic books, how hulk could pick up thor's hammer or something like that these are things that i i've come to be accustomed to in here where where things people just talk about things and it's it's a whole community in that sense but when it comes down to the the furry baiting you know i've seen a lot a lot of creators make uh, what's called a docky it's like a a slip cover for a pillow for like a full length body pillow um you know I, I wouldn't be opposed to having a girl one. That's that's for sure. But I'm not I'm not all for a lot of what I've seen in that sense. And, and there's nothing there's no problems with that at all for those that sit there and do things like that. But you know, everyone everyone's got the hots for the werewolf in Puss in Boots. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> I know, I know. Shame on me. How can I be a part of this? Well, it's a much different, a much different world when, when you sit there, you put on a headset and when you are online with all these different discords, when you have, when you can actually sit there and watch a movie with people in, in a discord and, and all laugh at it and all just enjoy it for the movie. This is also leads me into the whole video games. One of the, one of my favorite video games on the PlayStation one, people stop playing me because they didn't like it but it was one of the, one of the games i used to play a lot of is called bloody roar and this is what's really drawn me into it what has really drawn me into it is the transformation you know when when you have characters in video games that can transform into a werewolf or transform into something more i think back to naruto in that sense with the nine tails fox he's got the spirit inside him and he, he can become the fox that's more what I like about this. That's more the the sense that I get from it is the whole differing of opinions that are out there. Everyone has a different reason to be a part of this and why that's out there. Was I baited into any of this? I don't think so. I don't think it was that simple. I think I went through a whole plethora of emotions when I realized that this was something that I should be a part of and should make content around and should do that type of thing but it's a much different entity. Everyone has their own style. Everyone, it, no one's get propped up on a pillar in here. Everyone just sits there and goes, hey, we're great. And that's the one thing about these, game, these games and these movies. Are they doing it to attract furries? No, they're not. They're doing it because it's memorable. 
How many of you have now seen me sit there? I, I show up in a random live stream now. I show up uh, in a random world. How many of you are starting to re remember who I am? Starting to know who I am. I've been, I've been on YouTube for over five years. Seven. Over, over seven years, actually. I've been doing this for a long time, but I never really had a sense of direction. I was just throwing up whatever, whatever out there. I have plenty of videos. I went to a furry con and absolutely have the time of my life. It's some of the best videos I've ever made. Go check them out. I had a ton of fun making those videos and that's the type of content I enjoy. And a lot of people enjoy them because Everyone loves to see people in fursuit. Everyone loves to see the cosplayers. This is something I did back when I actually started the channel. One of my first videos is a cosplay video. That's not, that's the difference here. I didn't fall into the fandom, into the furry fandom because of the sexual nature of certain things. Sure, it's there. Great to see certain things in that nature. It really is, but it, is it weird? Not really, not really, you see, you see things a little bit differently in the world, right? I could sit there and I could dance and do so much more. I just sit there and have fun. The transformation of certain things. I think back to my Dungeons and Dragons days. My D&D character was, at the time, we were playing a high-level adventure. The D&D characters were, were half-gods, you know, it, 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 without us knowing. And we went through the, te in the Temple of Elemental Evil. My character died. But he died in such a way that he, he performed an ultimate sacrifice in that sense. And that's where the reward was there. And that's where we, we wrote into the story that the, the character died at that point. And now I think of where I am now. And I, I feel like when I walk through those doors of that convention, I honestly feel like the Normie died. But was that Normie ever really Normie? There is no such thing as normal. This is something I've, I've, I've spoken to a lot of people about in a, for a very long time. Since I was in high school, I said there is no such thing as normal. It doesn't exist. Normally, the only thing normal is life is that you get up in the morning, that you get up, you make a cup of coffee, and you actually get up and do your day and do something more with your life. If you get up, make your cup of coffee and you sit there and you're doing absolutely nothing, well, make a change. Do something more. The, the, the Certain videos going out there right now talking about how people are being baited into this type of thing. I wasn't. I wasn't. I'm, I'm completely different. I feel like I'm a completely different person. Do I also feel like this has been something, an amazing journey? Do I feel like I, I've done something more? It really does. And that's the difference with all of this. It's not a simple, a simple question. Do you sit there and you go, okay, I'm a furry today. I'm a furry tomorrow. No, it's something that you just sit there and you fall into. And then suddenly it just switches over and you go, I actually like this. I actually like being in an avatar state. I actually like wearing this type of clothing because it, to me, having an anamorphic creature on your shirt, I mean, is that something cool? Yeah, it is. It is to me. I don't know what it is to a lot of people out there, but I mean, it, it, it's so different. It's so different. And as a gamer, I, I've been a gamer, like I said, all my life. As a gamer, this is the ultimate game now. I get to sit there, I get to hop into a VR headset, play a game that honestly is is now a route for content creation. And I can do something, something more with it. And that's why things are so different. If you got to sit there and you go out there and you look at Judy Hopps from Zootopia, if you look at who is it, Luna from Has Been Hotel, and you you go, oh, I need I need a naked version of that. I need a version of that on my pillowcase. I mean, all the power to you. Do do what you want. Do what makes you feel good. Is that something something I need? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Is it weird? Not really. People have much weirder things in life. <laughs> I gotta say, it's it's a much different sense in that in that in that category. I've seen a lot of more weirder things in life, and I've been around for a very long time at this point. You know, those types of things. People put up pinups on their wall all the time. This is something that we grew up with, and now we there's a whole fandom out there that just sits there and goes, you know what? I don't care what other people think. I'm just gonna be myself. And then you can sit there, you could step into an avatar, be a lot more animated and do a lot more things with it. You can do a lot more things, like you can shake your tail feathers, right? 
that that's the difference you can do a lot more in life with these things and is that is that a bad thing and that's the important part you only got to be you only got to please yourself and if you find this entertaining you should go see my other videos because i gotta say i've done a lot i've done a, i've got over a thousand videos on this channel I've done a lot and now I finally feel like I've actually reached a place where I can do a whole lot more. Am I going to appeal to just furries? God, no. I want all of you. I want all you gamers in here. And if you're not in here already, get your ass subscribed. Stick around because we're going to do a hell of a lot more. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day.